Hello food lovers, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we will be diving into the world of flavors and colors as we explore the vibrant flavors of native jollof rice. This dish boosts a delicious balance of the well-seasoned rice and a harmonious blend of vegetables and protein. And so guys, wear your apron and let's get started. To begin here, I have some goat's meat, which we're going to steam, cook until they are tender and soft. And I'll be seasoning them with onion, and also with some chicken bouillon a teaspoon of chicken bouillon and a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of Cameroon pepper and also a teaspoon of curry and a teaspoon of ginger and a teaspoon of thyme and we're going to give all this a mix give it a very good mix and I'm going to add water to this goat meat I'll be adding water bit by bit until this goat meat is tender and soft and I have enough sauce to cook the rice so I'm now going to just leave this to cook for like 45 minutes and here I have my already parboiled rice which I've already washed properly and boiled and so I'm going to pour the broth, the good broth into this rice and cook until it's soft and dry. In addition to the broth I added some little water so it will be enough to cook the rice and also I'm going to add some onion and a little salt to this and allow it to cook until it's done and dry hi guys i would really love to thank my subscribers guys thank you for your support your comments your likes mm, thank you so much and for the new subscribers you're welcome to this kitchen thank you so much guys i love you for this native jollof rice there will be no tomatoes i will only be using a habanero pepper one onion, scotch bonnet, chili pepper, tatashi, and one bell pepper. All this I'm going to grind roughly, not smooth, but give it a rough blend and keep it aside. In a fry pan, I'm going to add some little palm oil to a heated fry pan. Allow this palm oil to bleach. So I'm going to bleach this palm oil until to give it a very refined flavor. So to this, I'm going to fry the already steamed goat meat until they are well fried and dry. And now to this flavored palm oil, I'm going to add some onions to this. I'm going to fry these onions until they are translucent and flavored. Give that a very good mix. And then to this, I'm going to add our already prepared mix. Add all this together and give it a very good mix. Let it fry for like five, four, five minutes before we add a spoon of chicken bouillon to this and a teaspoon of curry 
and also some crayfish to this but I'm not going to put all this crayfish yet I'll leave some for later and now I'm going to give all this a very good mix mix all together and allow this to cook for five more minutes it's been five minutes now and to this I'm going to add my already washed and deboned dry fish and I'm going to add the remaining crayfish to this and also I'm going to add some little salt to this and give that a very good mix I'll allow this to fry for another three minutes after three minutes now we are now going to add to this the already fried goat meat and we're going to give that a very good toss in this hot spicy pepper sauce and at this point this sauce can be used to eat boiled yam or white rice it's very good if you don't want to mix everything into the rice you can keep some for later so after giving all this a very good toss we are now going to pour everything into our already cooked rice pour everything inside and give it a very good tone and then we are going to use a silver foil to cover this pot so that all the colors and the flavors can come combine properly together and also bring out that jello fries flavor this we're going to cover for like five minutes it's five minutes now and guys check out the vibrant colors of this rice and the flavors and the aroma and now we're going to add some scent leaf to this this has a very different aroma it gives a very different aroma to this native rice and it's just the right veggie for this rice so we're going to give this a very good stir and this rice is done i hope this video was very useful to you please comment in the comment section drop me a smiling emoji give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel for more easy and beautiful recipes like this also share with your friends and family and guys Support your babe, support your girl, support your sister. Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.